Live from the Fastener Sports Studio, powered by Fastenal, SWX on KHQ starts right now. You're watching Drive for the Title, powered by Coeur Casino. It has become a rite of passage. With a win tonight, Gonzaga would secure an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament for a 19th year in a row. Now to sweeten the pot this year in Las Vegas, a number one seed to the big dance could also be on the table. Gonzaga taking on St. Mary's for a third time this season. WCC tournament title game. First half, Zags up four. Nigel Williams got dishing off. Jonathan Williams throwing down. Jock Landale, you're on a poster. Zags are up by six. Later in the first, Silas Melson, known for his defense, dashing to the lane for two. Zags up 21 at the half. The Gales, though, coming back in the second. Evan Fitzner, wide open, corner three. Gales storm back there within five. But Gonzaga would counter with a 14-2 run. Shimek Karnowski, the basket, and the foul. The and one party just getting started in Las Vegas. She's excited. What is that? African anteater dance. Uh, Nigel Williams Goss gets the steal coast to coast. Tough shot is good. Game high 22. Zags are up by 14. The exclamation point. Silas Melson and one. He's celebrating in your house. Gonzaga pulls away late. They win 74-56 to win their fifth straight WCC tournament title. All right, Gonzaga now a number one seed, perhaps. Is it in their future? We'll have to wait until Selection Sunday to find out. But we don't have to find out with Lindsay Joy. We don't have to wait for her. She's live one final time this week from the Orleans. Lindsay. Uh, one last time, Sam, let's make it a good one. And I have to say, uh, they've already turned this building over or are starting to, I should say, for the WAC tournament that starts tomorrow. So there's already a WAC logo on the floor. All the WCC stuff is gone. We're cleaning up here at the Orleans Arena and moving on. And of course, so are the Zags. But they're going to take a little bit of time to enjoy this one. Win number 32 on the season. Of course, an impressive one for Gonzaga and for the players on this team. They've never lost in Vegas. Sin City is win city for Gonzaga. They've won five straight WCC tournament titles. And of course, this one just as sweet as all those others. It's kind of surreal, you know, to be sitting here last year, uh, a year ago today, you know, behind the bench, just kind of watching the confetti fall on them. And then uh, to be a part of it this year is just all surreal, but it, it's a blessing and it's what I came here for. I'm just so happy for them. And I'm happy for them the way they played because we, you know, we got back to, to playing the way we're capable of. And uh, to do that, you know, to that team is uh, impressive. So I'm really just kind of overjoyed for uh, my guys, which is a good feeling. It feels good. You know, I haven't lost in Vegas, and uh, I won. I won't lo lose in Vegas, so it feels awesome. You know, just seeing, you know, going through all the teams. I, I came here, you know, first year with uh, Kelly, you know, all the Elias, Sam, David, Kevin, Gary, you know, all those guys. Just and now with all the, I'm the, I'm the oldest one. You know, we have so many uh, new guys, transfers and freshmen. You know, I'm so happy how they embraced uh, being a Zach, and this is what it's all about. Well, from Championship Tuesday, we move on, of course, to Selection Sunday. A few days in between to rest and enjoy this and practice for the NCAA tournament. And the consensus with the Zags after this one, they don't really care what their seed is. When asked if they should be a one seed, no one had really strong opinions. They all feel they're one of the best four teams in the country and that they've proved it with those 32 wins. But as Nigel williams Goss said, I don't even really know how the RPI works. They want to leave all that up to the experts and kind of just see where this NCAA tournament takes them. Sam? All right, Lindsay, thank you. Safe travels 